Hey guys, Zer here. Today I'm doing something special. The day that this video goes up, it will have been exactly 15 years ago that I made my YouTube channel and uploaded my first video. And I've been kind of thinking about doing this for a while. Um, and I basically only get one shot at this. So if I flub anything here, it's staying in the recording. I can't redo this because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to react to my first LP. Now, I'm not a react channel or anything like that, but it's something I've been thinking about doing for the last couple of years. And I honestly meant to do it a few years back just on one of the anniversaries. But then as we got closer to 15, I figured, you know what, I'll save it for that. Um, I think... When I released the LP, I probably like went through it a couple of times as people were like commenting and stuff like that to kind of like see what parts maybe they were talking about. So maybe I was kind of watching it a couple of times during then. But I will say easily after the first couple of months, I have probably not watched my first LP since then. And uh, definitely the quality for my videos in terms of just everything has gone up for a variety of reasons. So... I know it's bad. It's going to be bad. It's going to... I... Watching my old stuff, man. There's a lot of issues with the older stuff. But I keep it around because it goes to show how my channel has grown and how I've gotten better at these as much as I, you know, think I have. Um, so I keep it around, but it's 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 hard to watch the old stuff. But that's exactly what we're going to do here. It's a relatively short video. It's like six-something minutes long. Um, it's a really short LP. But um, before we get to that, I do want to watch one other thing real quick and that is because technically the first video that went up on my channel was a toe video my channel originally started for just doing some random toe stuff and the first thing i uploaded was a, a windows gameplay kind of like a little trailer for the series um from some of the games i did it as a uh final for my web design class at the time I did it for the class, did it, passed the thing, whatever, and then I thought, oh, well, then uh, I decided to put it up on YouTube, and then it kind of just took over from there. I started putting up Toe stuff, because I was very much into it, especially then. Um, so, we'll watch that again real quick. Um, I am familiar with this one, uh, so this one's not really a surprise to me, but we'll, I'll, I'll make a few comments as we go through here. But, uh, all right, here we go. This was the first video that I ever uploaded to YouTube. Now this was made in Windows Movie uh, Windows Movie Maker, which is pretty garbage, all things considered. But it was all I had at the time. Now what you'll see here is, because I was doing it for the web design class for people who are not familiar with the series, basically I think nobody knew what it was. I was very specific in trying to pick clips of replays where it was showing off lots of bullets on screen. I wanted people to see the colors and the different bullet patterns to be like, whoa, what is this? Oh, it's a, it's a bullet hell. It's a very special kind of shoot 'em up where it's tons of bullets on screen, right? It's not like uh, like Radius or anything like that where it's much more tame. So I was very specific in what I was picking, and the I showed basically three clips of every game that I have here with very select music tracks. So I'm going to pause it real quick because I'm choosing a lot of my favorite tracks. And uh, so that one for Perfect Cherry Blossom, which is the, my favorite in the series, uh, that was my favorite music track. So I'm using like, all my favorites in here. So like the video had a lot of meaning, especially for me. Um, now this here, you'll see here for Imperishable Night. Uh, at the time, I did not have any replay files to use, and I didn't want to have to make any real quick. So you'll actually see in the center, it shows demonstration. This is just the demo video uh, that rolls uh, you know, from the title screen. Everything else was ripped from, from replays that I had actually done. But uh, most people probably wouldn't notice that, especially those in my class would never notice that, I think. But anyone who actually knows Toe might catch that. Not to mention it was on Lunatic. Uh, I don't play on Lunatic. I play on normal 1ccs and occasional uh, hard 1cc. And I'll, I'll dabble into the, uh, the, um, the extra stage a little bit, but uh, I've only ever passed two extra stages uh, in this series. I don't usually go at them very hard. Um, this one, uh, you can tell the quality, it's just, ooh, way too many bullets. Uh, Windows Movie Maker, again, kills the quality. Not to mention, uh, the resolution was, like, not even, it was probably barely 480p. Um, I did not, uh, have a good computer back then, so I could not record or process anything, anything very, uh, very high quality. Um, at least I think the audio, like, sounded okay, but the video quality definitely suffered. Uh, you'll see I'm playing this one on easy, because when, starting playing Toho 10, uh, it took me a bit to get used to the bomb system, and uh, I was just having trouble with it, so I just had easy replays at the time. A little bit of lag there. I was trying to capture with fraps, and sometimes it would lag. Uh, this was the best take I had. You'll notice I have a ton of lives, because this was actually in the practice stage. Um, I was doing stage 6, because I very explicitly wanted to use this track and show this boss. Watch the life count 
go from this in the because in practice mode you get like a ton of lives. Going from this spell card to like the next, look at the life count. Uh, I blew all the lives because I was trying to get a really good shot. Um, so like I barely clear here. <laughs> Again, it's practice, it's for video, who cares, but uh, I don't know if anyone would ever actually pick up on that, that uh, <laughs> that was not a very good session. Alright, so that was just kind of dipping our toes here. I just kind of wanted to show. I, I felt like even though um, this was the very first video uh, I put up on my channel, I wanted to react through um, my first LP, but my LP did not start until July, 20, uh, July 25th, uh, 2009, because um, today is uh, May 18th, uh, 2024. I should have said that, but I mean, it's the day it went up. But, uh, so technically, it has not been 15 years since, since I put this LP up, but, uh, I figured, like, well, I didn't want to do separate videos, I wanted to do, do it, uh, all together, so, we start off with this. Now, we're gonna jump into the LP. This is, this is basically, I have not seen this in, you know, 14 plus years. Uh, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough watching it. I've intentionally held off because I wanted to get my genuine reactions because I really don't fully remember what I even say or do in the LP. I just remember it being probably kind of cringe, but let's just, let's just check it out. Here we go. This, there's no turning back. I get one shot at this. Hello, everyone. Now, right off the bat, I messed up switching uh, scenes, so hold up one sec. There we go. All right. That's, that's the only part I've heard. Hello, everyone. That's the only part I heard when I was sound testing for this. That's it. The rest, I just... Let's just check it out. Hello, everyone. This is the real zero, or zero for short. So I'm going to pause it right there. That's the only part I do remember. Obviously, now I have like a very like set way I do my intros. At the time, I used my full username. I didn't short it to what people just just call me Zero. You don't have to call me the real Zero. Um, so that already alone is different. And it may not be as apparent here because the volume is kind of like nice and loud. But I know I was much quieter in my original LPs and whatnot. Um, the volume itself tended to be kind of high. But my actual voice was not loud. And that's just because I was not comfortable with it yet. Very different now. I'm Obviously, I've been doing this for 15 years. So I talk very naturally now. But back then, uh, not so much. Funny enough, same headset. This is a $20 Radio Shack headset because it's analog. And I had to use analog back in the day. Uh, same headset, but it sounds better because I'm doing it through OBS. And I've got filters that also make it better. Um, and the capture, the way I capture is also better. Uh, I'll talk more on that maybe in a bit. But uh, you'll also hear a little staticky noise kind of in the background. That is in the original video. It's because of the way I captured. I did some funky thing with the stereo mix. And I did not use Audacity yet at this point. That wasn't until a few years later that I used Audacity to clean up some of the audio. Even though after that it was better. But I could definitely still hear that it wasn't perfect just because of the way I was capturing. But uh, anyways, okay, let's just let's actually get into the meat of this here. This is my first Let's Play video ever, so please bear with the quality of it. I know that the video is going to be just a little choppy, but I'm still trying to figure out what settings work best for my computer. Uh, that's because um, not only is the resolution not even quite 480p because of the way I captured NES Windows, I think it's like 412p or something like that. The resolution is funky. It's like 448 by 412 or something weird. Um, also, uh, the frame rate is not even like a 30 or 60. I think it's a 40 frame rate because I used to use Cam Studio to record. And the only way I could get it to capture properly without audio desyncing was to keep it at like 40, 25, and some other number. Like it was the combination that made it stick. So I was like, well, 40 FPS it is. So, you know, that's why it might be a little choppy because it's not 60. I'm having some audio and video issues right now. Anyways, this is Marble Madness, a classic NES game that my brother and I used to play a lot as kids. I wanted to pick something simple enough for my first video, and this happened to be the game that popped into my head, so let's get started. Not a terrible intro, I guess, in the grand scheme, but uh, yeah, I wanted to pick something quick and easy, because it was my very first video, and it may not come across so much, but I'm very nervous, but it's 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 the first time I was like, doing that, and this wasn't even with face cam yet, so... Yeah. There you can put your name in here, even though it doesn't really matter. And I always chose 90 degrees over 45, because 45 just didn't feel right. I couldn't move around properly with it. And I always thought it was cool that the first day which was a practice day, so you could kind of get used to the game if you were new to it. Or, as well as score some uh, free points. Because the second stage resets your timer to 65 seconds anyways. 
And, uh, yeah, we're gonna score some points over here. Man, put some energy into it, man! <laughs> Fuck! And, uh, you know, just go over here and get some points, and, oh, man, oh, yeah, that's great. Told you, man, it's, ugh. So you can waste all the time you want. This part was fun because my brother and I sometimes would stop and have a little competition see who could take out the black ball here. If you hit it enough times, you could crack and destroy it. There's no point to doing it, it was just fun to do. And I got some free time, and it made me fall. Oh, come on, get across the bridge, damn it! Come on. I hate when you don't make it across the bridge the first time. Pretty much wasted all the extra time it just gave me. Ah, oh, come on. This part always used to get me, because I was too impatient. I try to rush across when it's better to just go on the outside. <laughs> I'm just kind of just, hmm. I have no energy. I, it's Some people maybe like the calmer nature. Uh, I tend to be much more loud and animated, um, generally, depending on what I do. Certain LPs, I'm much more, like, like planned out and, and kind of, like, structured as opposed to something just on the fly. But uh, I, I definitely have more energy now. Um, it, it may not sound like it's so much, but trust me, it just, listening to my old voice like that, it just, it, it really throws me off. Just like this part, too. Usually if you try to go too fast, you end up just bumping all over the place, so it's better to just take your time around the corners. Damn. Oh, how did I, damn, I got across. Dodge the acid. Now this part, there is no point to going on the bottom path. There just isn't. You're better off taking the top. It's much quicker. I totally expected me to say like, oh, I'm tripping off acid. Um, I probably wasn't trying to crack as many jokes because I was just kind of trying to focus. Uh, again, depending on what kind of game I'm playing, sometimes it's more serious, sometimes it's uh, more jokey. Um, it's, I, I really did expect that, but it just, it didn't happen there. Dead air. Sometimes dead air is okay. You don't always have to be talking. I'm doing pretty good on time right now. Oh, damn. And again, with this one, it's better to take the bottom path. As long as you time it right, you'll save lots of time. Now this part's a bitch. I could never get through this as a kid. I'd always get my ass knocked over. I can like that. It's better to just wait for the easy pattern. Oh, that one. There we go. Alright, doing okay. Are we though? Are we doing okay? You know? It's actually not so bad so far. Uh, I expect it to be a lot worse, but it's just I, it, the the biggest thing is me talking relatively quiet and not having the energy there and uh, not being more open like I would be now. Usually by now I'd be practically dead. I'd have no time left. Now this stage was funny because my brother and I used to think that it was upside down when it's really not. It's just you're going uphill. It's got all these weird little shrunken enemies that you can run over for free time. I usually never went for them though because my brother would usually snatch them all up before me so it didn't even matter. Wow. That usually doesn't happen too often. Sometimes you get free time once in the game. For you to get it twice, that's pretty rare. But I'll take it. Oi. Ah, oh, damn. Anyone who's seen the commercials remember these. Killer birds. Man, that announcer guy was way too excited when he was talking about him. Come on, get off the hill. Damn. Alright, that's about right. <laughs> that guy was way too excited. Yeah, well, you could sure put some excitement in there. Uh, one thing I am noticing, I'm seeing like, damn, a lot. 
I definitely didn't swear as much in that first video. I swear like a sailor now. Um, it's just it's just part of how I talk. Um, sometimes it comes through more, especially when I uh, do two player stuff with my brother. But here, not so much. Uh, that didn't really start, I think, till later. Maybe by like Keen 5 or something like that. Now this last stage sucked because every time I make it here, my brother would have at least a good 40 plus seconds over me and he would just keep knocking me off the platform here and he wouldn't let me take the tunnel. So he would just waste my time around until I died and then he'd finish the level without me. Cause he was a dick. I'm better with it now and I can hold my own, but my brother definitely dominated me back then. Now this part. If I ever made it to this part again, my brother would just keep knocking me off until I ran out of time. Ugh. Come on. 40 seconds. Damn. At this point, uh, I'm trying to think if this was actually the first take or not. It may not have been, uh, to pull the curtain back. Sometimes I redo, uh, certain parts of LPs or whatever, or, or, or... Whatever it might be, because just maybe something just does, really doesn't go right, and I'm trying to show or do a specific thing. In this case, I knew I wanted to finish the game. This was one I did not want to fail partway through. Uh, so by this point, getting to this, it's like, it's very nerve-wracking just doing this anyways, but the fact that I was trying to do it for a video, it's like, mm, gotta make it. Concentrating, I'm not even talking. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. If I don't make it with 20 seconds left, I'm gonna be pissed. Thank you. Alright, I only died 18 times. The game only lets you die up to 20 times for minus 20,000 points. I mean, you can die more than 20 times, but it won't take away any more than 20 worth. In 20 worth. Obviously, at that point, I'm, I'm stumbling on my words there. So it's just like, uh, how do I say? I still do that now. Uh, but it's just, <laughs> it's worse when I'm playing it back for myself. 18 is a pretty good number for me. That's probably my highest score for ever. <laughs> Fuck. That's probably my highest score for ever. Uh, uh, what do I say? Uh... So that's it for my first Let's Play video. Again, this is kind of an experiment for me, so please forgive the quality of this video. Hopefully I'll learn how to make these better as I go along. I've got a few ideas of what I'd like to try next, so we'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks for watching. You know what? Uh, I give it a... Well, what grade do I give that? I give it... I give it a B. <laughs> B minus. I, I don't know. It's you know what? That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought I would remember it being. But there's definitely a few parts. Um, it it, it honestly was the common thing. Uh, because the next thing I did, I think was was it Mega Race? I think Mega Mega Race was either second or third LP. No, no, I did Operation Wolf next because it was another uh, another short one. And then I think I did Mega Race. And uh, and it's the same in all those. I was just very quiet, very subdued. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just, I don't talk like that now for my videos. I'm much more energetic and animated and, and loud, uh, <laughs> which might be, uh, for better or for worse. Uh, but now I did think about, uh, it's like, oh, should I also check out my first two player LP? Now I'm not doing that here. Maybe I'll do that at some other point. Uh, cause the first two player, uh, LP I did was with my brother and we played Marble Madness, and actually there are two versions of that because after recording the first one, we kind of weren't sure if we liked the first one, so then we recorded a second. I ended up uploading both. Uh, because it's the two of us in there, one, the audio is going to especially get kind of loud and scratchy because if we were using my brother's old other headset, it was not good. Um, his audio was always fucking garbage compared to, to mine just because of the way we had it set up and what his was. Uh, so that doesn't help. And then us getting loud over it and just, uh, that one honestly might be one that to be kind of worth going through as well, but we're not going to do it here. So, you know what? In the grand scheme, that wasn't that bad, but man, it's just, it's rough for me to watch some old LPs for sure, because it's just, ah, it's just, I, resolution's better, better, audio's better, 
I, I talk more energetically, more loud. It's better balanced. A lot of my old videos, yes, they're much more on the high side, I know, but I always tended to prefer being a little on the loud side than being, than being on the quiet side because I find it more annoying that if a video is way too quiet and I have to really bump up my audio because then everything else in my computer might be too loud as opposed to if something's loud, I can at least turn it down, especially even just like the YouTube volume slider. I can just slide that down. So I always aired more towards loud audio than quiet, but definitely did not have it always balanced correctly, especially for the older videos. But anyways, I don't want to drag this on for too long. Um, again, it's, I don't do like reaction videos and everything like that. So I'm not going to do like a ton of these, but I just felt like it would be kind of fun to check out my first like videos. Uh, and it really wasn't too bad. Um, <laughs> it kind of makes me wonder like, man, I should maybe go or maybe my brother should go back and watch his old original ones too because it's just, it was much more rough, man. But like I said, it's fine because you can see the progression from when I started 15 years ago versus now in terms of just the quality of things going up as well as me getting more comfortable just doing videos, being myself, talking about whatever. Uh, it, it's definitely uh, completely different now. But So it's, it's nice to be able to see that progression. I would never delete or private or remove my old videos um, for various reasons, but just, it's nice to be able to, to, to see the change over time, but anyways, I think that's gonna be, it, uh, it for this one, guys, so, here's to, I don't know, another 15 years, we'll see, I'm, I'm, I'm still doing videos, you know, I do a weekly stream, I do, like, a, a weekly video of some sort, depending on what the series is, uh, I still occasionally do LPs, I got some more planned for this year, so, I mean, I'm still doing it. It's uh, it's still fun for me. Um, it's a different time now, a uh, different environment in YouTube than it was 15 years ago, for sure. Um, I feel like it's much rougher now trying to uh, get onto YouTube and get seen in any capacity. So the fact that I have anybody still following me, especially some of the older subscribers after 15 years, is honestly kind of wild. But uh, I'll keep doing it because, you know, as long as even just a couple people get enjoyment out of my videos, that's all I ever really, ever really cared about. If even... 10 people see it, and one of them comments, and it's like, you know, I like this, I like, you know, this is one of my favorite games, or whatever, it's like, you know what, that's worth it to me, I've, I've never done this to be like, get big on YouTube, or, you know, get money, and turn it into a job, no, this has just always been for fun, so I'll continue to just do it that way, because I enjoy doing it, so, anyways, that's it for this one, guys, thanks guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed that, see you guys next time.